Okay, guys, let's kick off with what I've already told you is an incredibly important part of maths, which you have to, you've got to master this. And it's dealing with negative numbers. So I want you, you've got to be very good at basically adding negative numbers with positive or other negative numbers. You've got to know how it works when, say, you've either got one negative number or two negative numbers and you're multiplying or dividing numbers together, what happens? And also, you've got to, if you look at number two here, which hopefully you can see me circling around about, if, if there's any part of you which is not 100% sure how to do this, then you've got to get to know this. Because here's the deal, I'll be straightforward with you, you're not going to get a question like that directly in the exam. But here's the deal, you're going to get questions which are much harder in places like simultaneous equations, where if you don't know how this easy stuff is working, well then guess what, you can't do these questions very well. Now, so let's, let's first, you know, go into this little bit of section here. So, look, here's some signs that you don't know your negative numbers perfectly. If you ever multiply out brackets in any way and say, you know, you make what should have been neg, you know, you do what you think is right and you're then told, oh, it was actually negative six when you put positive six or vice versa then you're going to actually have a problem here somewhere. Now remember, you don't assume you know everything even though you feel like you might know it well. Uh, a bit strange, okay? Here's, it's basically, look, if you're screwing up, multiplying out brackets, you need to watch this section very carefully. Um, a really common place where not knowing your negative numbers perfectly shows up is in simultaneous equations. So, you know, let me... Um, so, for example, say, you know, when you get to this sort of section, say you might get something like, I want to do in blue. Okay. So, so you're going to have to bear with me. I'm still new to this uh, software. All right. So, imagine, yeah, for a second, that say you get to something like this. By the way, I'm not sure if this solves or not, but I'm just kind of showing you for illustrative purposes. Right, so if you ever get to the point where you say like equal your y's or your x's, it could be, and then you keep finding it a little bit, you know, that bit keeps screwing you up because you like do it sometimes and you minus it and, you know, you think it's right, but the answer never, you know, check the answers or someone tells you it's wrong. Guess what? You don't understand the given numbers somewhere. So you're going to be important. So, and here's the deal. So let's go to this. I also want to tell you about something which a lot of people don't know, which is maybe because you haven't been taught well or it doesn't really matter. But I'm guessing you guys know that two positives make a positive, posit and positive and negative doesn't really matter what order it in, always gives you negative, and two negatives give you a positive. If you guys don't know that, you need to speak to me personally. But yeah, assuming you do know that, there are actually two places, two times which you have to know that, where that works, and only two, no other time. If you're not 100% sure, as soon as I say that, which two it is, you need to watch this video. If everything I've said to you is perfect, you know, you never have an issue with the simultaneous equations at this stage, you never mess up the bracket stuff, even for things like this, you know, so you got stuff like... Yeah, if you can do that perfectly and you don't screw up the little sign thing here, then yeah, and you're very confident with what I'm saying. Sometimes none of this is a guess what, you can probably skip it, probably. But if you do want to stay on the safe side, do watch this video. Because there's the thing, once you watch this video, you will know it all. So all right, let's kick off. Let's talk about the only two times you need to know when to use negative number sorry, to use these this table. So let's go. All right. So there's really only three things you need to kind of be very comfy with negative numbers. So the first thing is, say you're doing something like this. So this is just your standard look. You're adding or taking away or whatever. Like two numbers, which, you know, one of them's a negative. This screws a few people up. 
Um, so there's that. Then you also need to be kind of comfy, you know. Or that be, or. You get my point, right? When you're multiplying or dividing as well, actually, that's a good point. You know, what are these going to become? What signs are they going to have, etc., etc. So, you know, it really kind of breaks down. And finally, here's the last thing. So, okay, so there's three things going on here, which we need to kind of be comfy with. So the first one is just adding or subtracting. Yeah, numbers where one or both. Yeah, uh, by the way, I could have done this as well. Not the bottom changing uh, thing. I know, I know. Um, okay, so adding, subtracting two numbers where one or both of them is negative, so you've got to get very comfy with that. Um, this one is multiplying or dividing numbers. And again, it's where either one or both, you could have also had this, I guess. Yeah, where one or both of the numbers are positive or negative. What am I talking about? Either, where either one or both are negative. Now, here's the next one. What to do when two signs are next to each other? Okay, now I know for a fact some of you are going to feel pretty confident here. Um, you're going to feel very confident here. You feel very confident. Well, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to go over all of them anyway. Skip ahead if you feel confident. If you aren't, if you do have the time though, watch this whole thing. Because remember, everything I'm teaching you through these videos is a massive process. Okay, it's supposed to be done all at once. And I promise you, if you put the proper time and effort in, I'll get you to an A. But don't blame me if you kind of start skipping stuff and don't get it. So, all right. So, let's kind of start with adding and subtracting numbers. Fingers crossed. For most of you, this is reasonably straightforward. So, these are the three things we're going to be going over. Again, if they all seem super, super easy, you know exactly what to do, then you can probably skip this. If not, do watch this. Because if you're not in any way brilliant, and I mean like perfect, with negative numbers, I promise you, later on, you will, you're gonna find it tough. You're gonna find it tough. It's all right. What am I doing? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so adding and subtracting numbers. Guys, if you want to start with black. Great. All right, so. Yeah, so if, let's have a look at something like this. Five minus seven. Now, this is minus two for the straight, but if you're unsure, this is how you think about it. And it all really comes back to the number line. So think about two plus three, and let's draw a number line. And obviously so on, and don't forget this would be like minus one, minus two. So the way I want you to kind of see two plus three, and obviously you guys know that equals five, but let's think why that equals five. So here's the way I want you to kind of start looking at it. So your first number, this two, I want you to think about as your starting point on the number line. So you see, so look, this is where we start. Now, it doesn't matter if that was minus 4, everything like that. Your first number, whether it's plus 2, in reality, by the way, guys, you should actually know, and this will be a massive reoccurring theme, as you kind of see, that just because, you know, there's no sign in front of the 2, that means, in reality, there's a plus there. So, it's actually, when you, someone says 2 plus 3, they're actually saying plus 2 plus 3. But anyway... So, and that's what, you know, so that's, your first number is a starting point. Now, the next number, not number, sorry, your sign, your plus, all that is, is that tells you which direction we're going to be moving along the number line. 
So a plus basically is telling you go that way. Okay, and the other one obviously is as you can guess. So multitasking isn't my best thing. They are the most rubbish now of colours to use. But you get my point, right? So first number is your starting position. The sign is telling you which way you're going to move. And then your last number um, is how many steps you're going to move in that direction. So let's go over this again. Plus two tells you that's your starting position. Your plus is telling you you're going to move that way. And your three tells you that's how many um, places you're going to move. So one, two, three. And that's where you end up, right? You end up at this five. So that's how 2 plus 3 works. So let's quickly just kind of... Um, so now we'll kind of have a look at this. How nice is that? All right, so let's have a look at this. And by the way, I'm going to go over loads of um, examples. I'd rather you get bored than actually be unsure what to do. So, you know, manage that yourself. Right. So, 5 minus 7. So, again, look, think of this as the number line. This is going to. Yeah, so you get my point. So listen, here we go. This is what we're going to do. First number, starting position. So look, this is where we start. This minus now, remember, the plus told us we go that way. Yeah, upwards. Yeah, up. If we add, obviously you expect the numbers to go up. So adding is this way. But that, and remember, the opposite direction is minus. And that's exactly what we've got here. Add a little bit of color to this. Yeah, there you go. That's taking away. So we're good. we know we're going to be moving that direction. And then finally, let's go for a different color. The final seven is just telling you, look, because you've got, here's, think about this now. You've got a starting position, which is your five here. Now you know which direction you're going to move. So your final number is telling you that's how many space you're going to move. So here we go. We're going to move seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. So... The answer to this is minus 2. Hopefully that's clear to everyone. So I guess I can go over one example. One more example. But let's kind of make this a little bit more um, uglier. But you'll see it's exactly the same thing. So let's... Uh, Let's kind of focus at what would minus 3 minus 4 be. So, right, number line again. Obviously, I, mean, I don't really expect you to write the number line every single time you do this. But this is what's actually working. So once you get kind of comfortable to skip ahead, by all means, do so. Bear with me as I draw this. All right, so let's have a look at this. Your first number is your starting position. Here's the deal, because there is a minus in front of it, your starting number is minus 3. Now remember, your next, the sign, the minus, is telling you we're going to be moving this way. And now the final number, which is now just a 4, because the sign is just the you know, uh, direction, it's telling us we're going to move four, uh, four steps, and we know it's going to be in this direction. So here we go. One, two, three, four. So that's your answer, minus seven. So hopefully, that helps you clear it up. Um, now what I'm going to do, do, showing you is a bonus, quit, a uh, bonus trick to how to do this quickly. So all right. Let's have a look at 
a way you can do this very quickly. But look, I want to show you this because this is how it's actually working, but here's another real quick way you can do it. No. So say you're not sure how to do, let's say, minus four plus three. You know, for some reason you can't, whatever. Here's a way you can always do it, right? So here it is. Flip the signs of both of these. Just because that one's a minus, uh, that one's a minus, that one's a plus. So, you know, start off with having your numbers in the same place. But this time, hopefully, you can see that I flip the signs. You see that? And remember, so that's the thing. And then do this. So if a lot of people are happy with plus four, minus, one, minus three. And that is one. Now, your, answer, your actual answer will just be the opposite of the answer here, all right? So here's what you do. So you find this a little bit difficult. You flip the signs and then find the answer of the flip signed numbers, yeah? Now, obviously, because you flip the numbers here, yeah, from here to here, the actual answer here is going to be the flip of this. Yeah, does that, hopefully that makes somewhat sense to you. Let me give you like another example. Um, let's go for three minus 17. So if we flip the signs, so remember, by the way, just because there's no sign in front of the three means in reality, there's a plus. But anyway, we flip the signs. So now we have minus three plus 17. Now, this is the exact same as saying plus 17 minus three. Now, if that's confused you, literally all I've done is just reshuffled this, literally reshuffled this, uh, plus three and minus, plus 17 minus three. You can do that anytime. Again, if you're unsure about that, I can't really talk to me in person. All right, because that does um, trick, uh, trip a few people up. But anyway, look, so you flip the signs. Minus 3 plus 17 is still like a bit of a, you know, not so obvious way of doing it. But if you just kind of move them around a little bit, you get plus 3 minus, uh, sorry, plus 17 minus 3. Now, most people are happy that's 14. So you found the answer of the flipped version of this question. So the real answer is actually just the flipped of that. Minus 14. What's happened here? Yeah, minus 14. Um, all right, so I'm going to give you another example. All right, let's have a look at this. So you've got 6 minus 14. All right, can't bother to do that directly. Just basically do the opposite, right? So think about minus six plus 14. Yeah, this is the same as saying uh, 14 minus six. You see how I just left the plus there, you don't need to have it. So that gives you eight. So the answer to this is minus eight, okay? So hopefully that's clear. What's happened there? What's happened there? And there we go. All right, so that's just adding and subtracting um, numbers which have negatives. Uh, all right, so the next one is multiplying and dividing, but let's actually just go to this, this table. So what this table is, is you guys must have heard, hopefully have heard that Two negative, two positives make a positive. Uh, plus and a negative give you a, a negative. A negative and a plus give you a negative. And two negatives give you a plus. Now, an easy way to remember that is literally if you have two of the same signs, it doesn't really matter which ones, positives or negatives. They always give you positives. Uh, if you have one of the one of both, then you get a negative. But here's the thing. A lot of people know that, but here's the next question you should really be asking yourself, okay, what do you mean 
by when I have two positives. Does that mean if I have two positive negative numbers? So what am I talking about? So say I've got two positive numbers. Uh, so if I have minus seven, minus three, is that going to give me what? Minus, is that going to give me plus 10 or something like this? You know, because I've got two negatives here. Is that going to make a plus? So hopefully you see it can be kind of confusing. Wait, that's a terrible explanation. All right, what I mean is, in short, you need to kind of be thinking, all right, when, when does this work? When do two positives give me a positive? When does a positive and negative give me a negative? Um, I'll tell you right now, it's not in this situation. Because this situation is the same one I just showed you last time. So you can either think of this as a number line. Or remember, flip the signs. That gives you plus 10. So the answer here should actually be minus 10. So it's definitely not in that situation. So let me now tell you the two times, the, on, two, the only two times when this um, comes into effect. One, when you're multiplying or dividing. Yeah, two numbers. The second time is whenever two signs are next to each other. Okay, so let me kind of explain this. So say you're trying to multiply two numbers. Now, think about this, yeah? You know, two times three, what is that? A lot of you probably saying six. But let me actually explain why that is. And the reality of this is, is first, you've got to be comfy knowing that whenever you multiply or divide two numbers, you, you know, that's when this table comes into effect. So look, two times three, in reality what that is, that's a plus two and that's a plus three. So look, I'm multiplying two numbers. Both are positives. Guess what? My answer is positive. And obviously then I just treat the two times three, which is six. So that's what's actually happening. So now, if I was doing minus 2 times 3, here's how you'd work it out. You would first think about, all right, what signs do my two numbers have? Now, don't even bother about the numbers just yet. And here's what you've got to be clear with yourself. Well, this one's clearly a negative, right? And obviously, because this has no sign in front of it, it's actually a plus 3. So here we go. So I've got a positive times a negative. So already, for my answer, I know it's going to be negative. And here's all you do after that. The second part, so the first stage, you just figure out what sign it's going to be. The next one, ignore the signs and just do what 2 times 3 would be. That's 6. So that's how you get your answer. It's a two-part thing. First, just think about what sign your answer is going to be. Then ignore the signs and just... Um, multiply the two numbers as if there were no signs, two times three and stuff, and that gives you six, all right? So this is minus six. So let's do another example. And again, this is with me just multiplying. The same goes for dividing. So say that I'm doing minus 10 divided by two. Again, you've got to be very clear in your head that look, this is a negative, And this is a positive. Yeah, just because there's no sign doesn't mean it's not there. So this, I know my answer because I've got a positive and a negative. My answer, so look, positive and negative, always gives me a negative. So I, can, I already know my answer is going to have a negative. Then, in a way, in your head, this is what you should do. Don't bother with the signs. Yeah, ignore them. Then it's just 10 divided by 2, which is 5. So your answer is minus 5. Uh, quick note, hopefully all of you are comfy knowing that, um, you know, say if I write this, this actually means 5 divided by 2. And uh, so you guys should be very happy because, um, you know, it's, you, you shouldn't really in GCSE ever be using the divide sign. You should be just using it as this, with fraction signs. And literally a fraction, so if you have like 5 over 10, if you put that into a calculator, you'll notice but that's, uh, it will give you 0 0.5 
And the reason why is it's actually the same as saying 5 divided by 10, which again, put it into the calculator, 5 divided by 10, it's the exact same thing. Um, yeah, so let's do one or two more quick examples. And uh, wrap it up there, basically. Um, all right, so say you've got minus six over two. So again, look, minus positive. And so it's going to be negative because minus, minus positive always gives me a negative. Then ignore the sign. Yeah. In reality, there's a plus there, but I want you to ignore it at this point. Anyway, six divided by two gives you three. Um, let's do a few double minuses as well. So minus four times minus five. Here again, look, two numbers multiplying by themselves. Got negative times negative. Yeah, negative, negative gives you plus. So your answer is going to be a plus. You know, you don't even have to put that plus bit, whatever. And then ignore that for a sec. Ignore the signs. Four times five is 20. Here we go. So the answer is plus 20, which you don't need to write the plus. So yeah, the answer is 20. Exact same thing for dividing. So say you've got uh, minus 30 divided by minus 6. Okay, remember we are multiplying or dividing two numbers. So this uh, table here is going to work. So mi minus divided by minus. Uh, yeah, minus 1 is you plus. You know, I know it's probably going to seem like bloody obvious by now, but it's a good thing. So that's going to be a plus, uh, don't worry about the sign, say divide by 6, it's 5, so your answer is just 5, okay? So that's the first um, example of when it comes into use. So let's just wipe all Now let me kind of tell you the other, the other, so most people know that anyway, they're quite comfortable with that. So now let's kind of go on to the next bit which is whenever two signs are next to each other. Um, so this is when you kind of say three, say you're doing three take away minus two. Now, remember, only times you kind of switch between signs is if you multiply and divide by two numbers, which is talking about, and whenever two signs are next to each other. So clearly here, oh, yeah, clearly you can see that two signs are next to each other. Well, guess what? This table in this sense says, instead of writing those two minuses, just replace it with a plus. So this is literally what it becomes. Yeah, so three minus minus two is the same as saying three plus two, which is five. Now, why, you know, I mean, I can quickly tell you why that is. So it was, the reason for this is exactly the same as this. So remember your first number, if you're doing 3 minus minus 2, your first number is your starting position. So here you go. Your first minus tells you to go that way. But now when you have a second minus, what it does, it kind of like switches it the other way. Yeah, and 2 tells you to go that way. But here's the thing, you don't even need to bother knowing that. Just know that if two signs are next to each other, you can literally replace them from this thing, table. So, you know, let's go to something a bit harder. So, and, you know, minus four plus minus three minus minus two. If you're ever unsure about that, all you have to kind of do is, here's the deal, you never want to see two signs next to each other, yeah? So look, do you see? So let's kind of deal with these. Now remember, a plus and minus, if we look at that table, becomes a minus and a minus minus becomes a plus. So literally, you change this whole um, equation to this. Now that is much easier to deal with. And you can deal with it either here. Maybe you could either do this first and then this, or you could have done these two together and then this. It doesn't really matter. So let's kind of go for this. So let's just focus on that bit. Minus four, minus three. Just quickly get, it'll be good to kind of, so minus four, minus three. You can either do that on the number line. Um, quick, quick recap. So I'm going to skip a little bit. So that's fine. Now my 
imagine that mess just there. So look, minus four is your starting position. Minus tells you you're going to be going that way. And then this three tells you that's how many direction, uh, how many steps. One, two, three. It's minus seven. Okay. The other way you could have done it is you know what? If, if you find this hard to do, you look at well, what if I switch the signs? Yeah, plus four plus three, that's seven. Yeah, so remember, because you switch the signs here, the answer is also going to have switch signs. So hopefully you can see that way as well, it's going to be minus seven. So, you know, this whole bit, yeah, everything inside here becomes a minus seven plus two, and minus seven plus two. Hopefully by this time, you know, you're kind of comfy with that. It's going to give you minus five. So there literally, that's literally every, um, that's how minuses and negatives work. Uh, what am I talking about? How to deal with negative numbers, that's what I meant. Um, so yeah, I mean, that really wraps it up. But I'll tell you, you know, if you're still kind of trusted, I'll tell you, you're going to come across times when you're going to have to, you know, understand what to do at this point. You know, 9x minus minus 3x. And here's the deal. You ever run into that? Those two minuses, you just replace with a plus anyway. So, you know, this is 11x. Again, if you don't, not comfy why this 11x, this is me kind of telling you what's kind of coming up. So yeah, the answer to this first place was 11x. Um, yeah, and you're going to see this as well. A lot of people, yeah, we'll go over this very quickly as well. Yeah. So I mean, what will happen here is, uh, first bracket ends up going then what you'll kind of later see is because there's a plus there it's going to be minus 2 times plus uh, 2x which will give you minus 4x uh, minus 2 plus times plus 3 give you minus 6 a lot of people make a mistake of not adding that in but anyway I'm, I'm waffling here that was just me kind of saying it very quickly but that's what's kind of coming up okay and hopefully you can kind of see the negative stuff working there as well I mean I don't really know process that but don't I'm doing this on the fly anyway so all right guys so that wraps up negative numbers have a little bit of a practice round of that as well um, but hopefully that clears up quite a decent little bit and what's our next thing oh yeah next next video is very very important and it's going to be uh, I'm going to show you a different way to look at path to think about powers and how that relates to you know your x y's and z's so, all right, let's wrap that up there. Okay, 33 minutes, wow. All right, well, I'm sticking with it, and uh, let's go see you in the next video.